Broadcasting live from Haven Conference 2022 in Atlanta, it's time for Organization Conversation. Brought to you by Wall Control Storage Systems. Wall Control gives you the storage and organization you crave. Hey guys, welcome back to Organization Conversation. I am Richard and I am here with my buddy Mike. How's it going, Mike? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. We're here the the morning after the first evening, so it's always it's a fun. tough evening. It's uh-huh. a tough one. It is. It's uh-huh. it was fun, man. We hung out at the uh, welcome reception last night, had some drinks. So yeah, we're we're here getting it done. So yeah, um, yeah, Mike. I'll let you introduce yourself to to the audience and kind of a little ba- background about you. All right, I'll give you a little background about me. My name is uh, Mike Judge. I am here with Freeform. We are a grip free paintbrush, um, but I have a, a an Instagram account, Mike Built Something, and also have an online learning platform called M2 Labs. So uh, my background, just to go back a little, is I worked for Georgia Pacific for 18 years, and I sold wood. So that got me into woodworking. So I do woodworking, specialize in charcuterie boards. So if you need charcuterie boards, um, I'm a good person to teach you how to do it. Uh, I don't generally, I, I make them for friends and family. But I prefer to teach people how to do it and make it themselves. Yeah, that's so. Do you you don't sell any? Do you sell any at all? Uh, to my friends and family, but really, gotcha. I just enjoy teaching people how to make them themselves. Yeah. I think there's something fulfilling about for sure making, doing it with yourself. So if somebody wants to make something, I'll generally bring them over to my house. We'll go in the shop and we will make it together. Yeah, that um, makes like the party with a charcuterie board that much better too, because you can have a conversation about it, and people are like, people are proud of their charcuterie, like period. And then they're really proud if they made the board that it's on, you know? So. It's, it's a lot more fun. It's yeah. a lot more fun. And, and that's really how I, I got introduced to Well Control is when um, I was making at some other people's shops and they showed me the Well Control product, which I just fell in love with. Yeah. And I, I just love, I, I'm a big fan. So I'm excited to be sitting next to you, posted next to you in, yeah, the, man. in the building. It's already been fun and we've only been like three hours into this conference, I think. So if you add in yesterday and today, so... Yeah, man. So, uh, what what are some benefits of wall control? What any favorite accessories or anything like that that uh, you know someone listening might not have thought of? Any well, sort of application? You know, I was excited yesterday when we were talking, and I was saying that I had a, a lot of uh, clamps. Yeah. And you said there was actually a longer um, clamp system or uh, attachment. Yeah, the clamp bracket yeah, that I did not the, have. You have, a, I think that's a four. That's a six inch. Six inch. You said there yeah. was a nine inch. Yeah, nine inch is the way to go. That's the that seems to be like the optimal length for uh, like you know it it really secure and they're not like way too many on it, so you don't have to like constantly be taking. I, off. I'm that is a huge thing. If you're in woodworking, you definitely have a lot of clamps. Yeah. Because um, I don't know if you know the expression, but the expression is you can never have too many clamps. Yeah. It's funny and, before we like so workbench con before we got into the woodworking community, um, Adam, lazy guy DIY, he was like, you've got to get, we got to have something for clamp storage. And it's like, you know, we, we got our, we started in, you know, the garage, kind of the car guy tools, that kind of thing. And so it was, you know, I was glad when we came up with a solution for that, but it's been a hit for sure. Cause yeah, you guys have a ton of clamps. So uh, many clamps. My yeah. wife's like, do you need more clamps? I'm like, yes, of course. Anybody who's retiring from their shop, I, I just automatically say, I'll buy all your clamps. Yeah. That's yeah. Um, just collect them and then figure out what to do with them. So that was my favorite, but I also want to call out because this is something I did not know again. I, so I was learning. Um, I didn't know there was an option on your website to get my logo oh, yeah. uh, printed on on the um, on your boards which I thought was amazing. Yeah. Uh, because I, I, as an influencer, right? Yeah. You know. Yeah, I'm you in want a space, brand for sure. I, I want my brand on everything. Yeah, and and a little sticker is, you know, and I I mean, if I'm just being very honest again, I'm probably not going to use my cricket. Yeah, exactly. It's, <laughs> it's not coming out of the box. <laughs> yeah. You don't strike me as a cricket guy. Uh, yeah. I am not a cricket. Guy. I I did buy my wife a cricket in yeah. hopes that she would use it, and I could then steal some from her. Uh-huh. Like say, hey, could you make Commission something her? For me? Exactly. Um, but she um, she yep. said no. She'll make it for herself, and I can learn it myself. And I was like, mm, I'm going to get CNC instead or something. Yeah. Well, the other thing too about that is if you use a cricket, you eliminate all the holes on the panels that the logo's over, you know? So like, you know, this is fully functional, but yeah, our partners at hang time, um, can do anything, any, anything you want printed, they can do it. And they license a ton of, you know, pre-printed stuff like NCAA logos, things like that. So I think that's really exciting. I, you know, that I didn't know and learned it here. And I don't think a lot of people know. So when I leave here, I'm going to make sure when we're talking about wall control that they understand. Awesome. Yeah. Logo needs to be on it. 
it's whatever additional charge it's worth the um, opportunity to get your logo put on it because you're gonna definitely want it yeah it's at basically some like watermarking all your content without having to put a watermark sure. on it so yeah let me know man you know you know i got I know. you covered i know so, um yeah so you are you're one of the ones that does a lot of different things like I you're do. you're uh, you know, your collaborations with brands, like you said, you're here with a brand, actually a brand we met at National Hardware Show, really yep. cool product. So how do, how do you work all that out? Like how, how does that kind of thing come to be for you? What's so, the process? I mean, I know it's organic. That's kind of how it always works best, but yeah. So I mean, full transparency, I'm in sales. So yep. I, I sell <laughs> for a living and you know, that I'm an I was raised in an old school sales way where relationships are king mm-hmm. and you just, you, you have to bootstrap your way and get to know people. And the more you know people, the more you're going to understand the why behind everything. And when you understand the why behind and you build those relationships, it just, it means more. Um, the knowledge means more. It trans, it transfers over the conversations are more natural. Um, and so I, you know, I get involved that way. So, you know, I've, I've spoken to you several yeah, times we have, now. Absolutely. We're, uh, after this is over, we're going to keep the conversation going. Cause we, you know, we don't have any sort of outside sales presence, <laughs> you know? And so I, it, you know, we want a friend, you know, that's how it starts. Like you said, it starts with the relationships, the friends you have, not just, you know, Googling some sort of agency to work with. That's not really how we operate. So this is kind of, this is exactly in line with how we've done everything that we've always done. So. Y- y'all have taken care of us. Um, like I was saying, we have an online learning um, school, like M2 Labs. That's mm-hmm. what it is. Yeah. And um, we we ask our instructors to have – that's why we have the, the logo conversation because we want our instructors when they're instructing, when they're in front of a camera, in front of a class, because it's all done on Zoom, that their backdrop is – you know, we like it to be wall control. We've done several classes where wall control does. I did not know I could be saying, hey, it should be wall control and put your logo on it. Yes. Um, and so, you know, that's that's one of the main things that, that we do. And the way that I work that in is that, you know, work, I work with the Freeform brand. Um, I work with No Cry. I have a lot of brands that I'm that I'm just very, the relationship is very strong. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm a relationship guy. I'm not... I don't encourage people to get involved in things necessarily for, for money. I say, you know, get involved for the relationship because they support you and you support them. Yeah. And that's, I mean, in our experience, that's, and that's, that comes first. And then the money bit of it, you want to make something happen mutually between you. You know, it's like, well, nobody's have, working for the red cross where everybody yeah. wants something, but exactly. Yeah. But it's not, a, I don't, I don't look at things like it's a selfish, yeah, selfish it's like, thing. It's mutually beneficial. Exactly. And as a brand side, when we have a partner that, that works with us like that. It's like, how can we help them get what they need? You know? So it's like, you want, like the brand goes to work trying to find a way, a creative partnership to benefit both parties, you know? So, um, that's kind of, you know, the way it looks on our side, but you already know that you work with it. How do you manage all these different brands and folks you work with? Like, what is your time management look like? <laughs> I am a very good time manager and I give, I dedicate time to the people that I'm, I'm working with. I do not, I try very hard not to um, multitask in ways that are detrimental to the people that I, I honor the, my commitments. Yeah. So um, I think that that's, you know, like advice to people who are getting involved in things is, you know, let your yeses be yes and your noes be no. So yeah. if you have the time. So in the morning when I wake up, I wake up early. Um, the first thing I do is I get my day's list out and I figure out what, what is my, what does my day look like? Um, how many hours do I have to give to content creation, to, um, whatever obligations I have for my career? Yeah. Um, all, all of the things. And then I lay it out with my kids and, um, I just stack it all up and yeah, it's you know. some, you're one of the, you're, like I said, you're one of the, um, the impressive ones where I'm like it, it, you know, how you manage it all and pull it all off uh, is impressive for sure. Well, thank so, you. Yeah. Richard, I'm going to ask you a question. I would love for you to. May I, may I? You may. Okay. Well, what is something that I don't know about wall control that would be really interesting wow. for your listeners because it's an inside question? An like, inside, inside question. You know, so, like what's your favorite attachment? My favorite attachment? Well, I'll, I'm at my, this will actually make my dad happy because my favorite is our universal bracket, which we sell like the least of. Uh, nobody can see this, obviously, but well, Mike, describe it's, it to that, us. it's that one right there. You see the long on the very end, the white one there on yes. the black panel? Okay, so yes. basically you can bolt anything to that. Like yeah. you could bolt 
like you could have one on one side, one on the other, bolt a cabinet to it, and the oh. bracket attaches. So like could, people use it, it for battery chargers, all kind of things. Yeah. So what would be the weight? Um, that probably, I mean, at least you know, I'm saying this publicly, so I'm going to say 30 pounds. Oh, but I mean, you could okay. you can do a lot more than that. Really, like generally, the the issue is how well you attach the panel to the wall. So that's right. that's your point of failure. You know, nine times out of ten, like if you go into plaster with a you know a sheetrock screw. Well, now that can't hold too much, you know? So it's like, that's kind of the, kind of the limiting factor for sure. So, but that's good. Yeah. I mean, you know, me and Mike, we talking a ton yesterday. He, he should, I might just give this chair up and let you interview everybody all day. Cause you ask good questions. So, yeah. I just want to know, I have an inquiring mind. Uh-huh. I want to, I want to know how we can help make yeah. this a product that can get into more hands. Yeah. Because I appreciate that. it's not only is it beautiful, but it is super functional. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's, I mean, the hardest part is just getting the word out there. You know, I was at um, actually a professional organization or professional, a meeting of professional organizers, and none of them had heard of wall control or even the concept of like a metal pegboard. You know, like I'm having to explain like the function of it, which I found just, it was, it made me excited because there's, you know, you would think you're kind of starting to tap out, I guess, at market penetration, but absolutely not. There's so many people that just aren't even aware of this as like a storage um, genre, I guess. No, I, I think that one of the things that differentiates your product from like my old school um, pegboard that I used to use is that, like you were just saying, this is a function of how much the wall, when you get into the studs, how much it can hold versus the the actual the wood would break yeah, when exactly. I put too much It'd fray and yeah, yeah warp and, and yeah and over time it would start to sag. This would never this is never a problem. Yeah, that that's another good point. Um, that it, we it's hard to communicate like the functionality of it, but you can actually attach shelving to the panel. Like whereas with traditional press board pegboard, you can't do that and put any sort of weight on it. So with this, you can. I mean, we have again what we say it'll hold and what it'll actually hold are kind of you know. One's a very safe number and the other is like reality. We have in our tool and die shop, we have huge, I mean, you know, probably 50 pound blocks of steel just, you know, sitting on shelves on panels. Those panels are attached to steel studs, but yeah, it'll, it'll hold a ton. So I would like to come to your shop to see it. Yes. We, yes at some point we need to do maybe a live video from there. So mm-hmm. uh, I, I know that this is a family business, which mm-hmm. I, I think is am- amazing in, in my from where I come from, I mean, I have eight, there's eight of us in my family. We do not have a family business, but uh, the fact that you can have a family and yeah. everybody gets along it's, and can make decisions about like what beaches to go to and yes, exactly. all of yeah. those things. Yeah, it's funny because so Mike's from, he's local as well. And it's like, you know, we were talking about just we're, fa- we're planning a family beach trip and just the amount of opinions that go into that. And yeah, that's just a, that's just a vacation, you know, I, like it's a challenge planning that. And then to be able to work with everybody, that's, you know, it, it's kind of like you you learn to just put on a different hat, I guess. And I will say that everybody in the family is, I feel like in a really good seat, you know, based on their personality and, you know, just how they interact and work with each other. So, and we have like our, our manufacturing facility is down the road from wall control. And so and like, what is it, how did your family get into this? I think that that's, if I'm listening, it's the first time I'm listening. Yeah. Like what so you were we, telling me yesterday. And I don't know, maybe your listeners listen all the time and know the story. I think they're probably all listening for you, Mike. So I'll tell them. Yeah. Yeah, They, so basically, um, we started in tool and die in the sixties. My granddad started tool and die shop. He actually started, he started one with four other guys and they're very like type a, all of them type a personality and that didn't work. That lasted for like two years. So they all, they all broke up as friends, all started their own like tool and die kind of, you know, they're all niching into their own different thing. All were in business until they either retired or sold or passed away. Cause these guys, I mean, my granddad, He's in his 80s. He still works four days a week. Loves it. Like so. Anyhow, oh, that's so, my hero. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. awesome. You'll you'll we'll have you. I mean, you after this is over, uh, we're gone like next week. But anyways, whenever I'm back, whenever you want to come down, I'll show you around. But and introduce you to everybody. But so started doing that in the 60s. Build metal stamping tooling. Got into actual the the production of it. So we were building the dies, but it got to where people wouldn't buy the die unless they could try it out first on your facility because they didn't want to take it into their own. Mm-hmm. So then we got presses. So then we started doing metal stamping like at large for other people. And so that's kind of how the, the tool and die metal stamping side evolved. And then in the early 2000s, things were slowing down a lot. And we had actually prototyped wall control, like laser cut it, you know, press broke it, form it. And we were like, we had them on all of our tooling stations. And we were like, let's let's try to make that into a product. And so 
tooled it up, um, you know, formed the company, got patents, all that stuff, and um, started trying to sell that as our own product. So we actually had something that uh, up until that point, everything we made was for somebody else. And so we could get a call and say, hey, you know, you guys are doing a great job. We're sending our tools to Mexico. Sorry, no hard feelings. And there's nothing we could do about that. So we wanted something that stayed in our shop all the time and was our own product line. And that's how wall control got started. May I ask one more question? Yes, you may ask a Facilitating question. Yeah. So if I'm a, 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 a shop owner mm-hmm. and I have a business, maybe I'm Georgia Pacific or mm-hmm. someone like that, a big company, um, is this something that can be custom ordered, custom custom fit to my shop, or is it only in these you know these panels? Does it come in like a four by eight panel? Or? We do. So the yeah, we can do custom links. It, it kind of all of its volume. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. like, say you're a Georgia Pacific. There, if the, if it's like a you know a PO of substantial size, we can do a lot more than we could do if you just want one or two kind of mm-hmm. things. Um, the the width of it is going to be that sixteen inch width, or we have a thirty two inch width also. Because okay. the thing about it is sheet metal gets its strength from being formed. So the further you get from a form, you know, the more flop you get in the middle kind of mm-hmm. thing. So um, we have found that this is like the optimal, the optimal size for like a super rigid panel. And so what you do is build the space out based on that. So we've done, we've done stuff for um, uh, Siemens diagnostics, some, just some different industrial applications mm-hmm. where we would put together like a four by eight, it would be four by eight, but made up of three panels kind of thing. So, yeah. God, that's very exciting. Very cool. Yeah. That's really neat. Yeah. Any more questions, Mike? Because I, I always appreciate the questions. We were talking yesterday, and Mike was like, I'm sorry, I keep asking so many questions, but that's, I love it. <laughs> I, Richard, I always have more questions, but I'm yeah. not, I'm not going to take the time to ask the questions now on the, ca- on the podcast. I'll, okay. Yeah. We can have another the podcast where I ask my other five questions. Excellent. That's I very can roll, good. roll through some other ones. Yeah, that's, that's very cool. Me and Mike. So we're both obviously working, working some spaces here. So we're having this conversation in, like during sessions so we can actually yes, sit the, for a The space longer. that I'm here with today yeah. um, is Freeform Paintbrush, which is the grip free paintbrush. If you have never heard of it, please check out the Freeform Paintbrush because it is a, um, if you have carpal tunnel or if, if pa- painting yeah. is painful, um, this is a natural paintbrush that allows you, and I've, it's a, again, it's a family owned and it's a, it's a product that I personally love, um, because I believe in it, in the mission of, of it. I painting is not something I like to do. Yeah. It is not, it does not bring me joy. Yeah. Um, so if I have to do it, I want it to be as pain free as possible. Now I've met many people at the conference that love to paint and they find it to be painful and those people are my heroes because yeah. when my wife says, Mike, I need you to paint a room. I'm like, Oh, I got to paint a room. What? At least I have a free form brush. Yeah. They're awesome. I can, I can uh, vouch for it. Just totally takes the hand cramps away. So it just feels good holding it. Very ergonomic. It, yeah. You know, I, I guess um, um, I like to, to work with brands that are innovative products. Mm-hmm. Um, there are a lot of, there's a lot of products out there that are just the same, you know, product that's over and over and over. Mm-hmm. I like the innovation. I like the invention of, of something that you know you took up you took a problem and you solved it using better engineering yeah um and i think that there is something to be said for for that type of of you know ingenuity and creativity absolutely um, and and i think those products are the most fun yeah for sure absolutely they're the and they're, they're the most fun to use the most fun to try to sell yeah they're the most fun to talk about so yeah well thanks for coming on mike well tell, i appreciate uh, it thanks for having me tell our tell our listeners how they can find you personally Oh, Mike built something on Instagram or Mike built something at gmail.com. That is how you find me. And any questions about M2 Labs, Freeform, or any of the brands that I represent are, um, can be asked directly to me. I love to talk to people who have questions. Awesome. Cool. Well, thanks for coming on, Mike. Thanks for having me. It's been a blast. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Organization Conversation is brought to you by Wall Control a family-owned and operated producer of best-in-class wall-mounted organizers for your home or business, made right here in the USA. To learn more, go to wallcontrol.com.